Hi, welcome to Filling Your Tank. And my name is Sally. And I'm Melody. And we're the two pastoral care pastors at Village Presbyterian Church. And this week we are going to talk about the physiological needs, the, the bottom rung on Maslow's hierarchy of needs. And the physiological needs are things like breathing, food, water, shelter, clothing, sleep, and even exercise. And hey, Melanie, didn't you get a bike, uh, a new bike this spring? I did. Can you tell us about that and kind of how it flows into Maslow? Sure, yeah. So this was in April. Of course, the pandemic started in, in uh, March, and I was just really antsy. I'd been walking most days, um, and that was really helpful, but I just felt like the need to do some cardio and to push my body a little harder to stay, um, to stay in decent shape. And so, I did. I went out and I, there was a bike store open. I couldn't believe it. And a friend of mine told me about it. And that day I just said, I'm going to look at a bike. And so two friends came with me and we went and we looked at bikes and we had our masks on and we were talking to the guy and you know doing all the things. And on the spot, I just found the bike that I wanted. It's a perfect bike. I hope I have it for the rest of my life. And um, I bought a bike. And actually, the two friends that I was with, we all three of us bought bikes. So it was a little bit of a splurge of a day for the three of us. But um, we've been doing a lot of cycling in the last few months. We've been going on 20-mile rides some days. It's been amazing. It's been something that's really kept me going and kept me fit um, mentally and, and physically all throughout this. It's been awesome. That's amazing. What a, what a story to just go out and do what you need to do to care for yourself physically, but also to help us deal with these times mentally. So Melanie, what other kind of physiological needs are on those uh, as on that bottom rung of Maslow's hierarchy of needs? Yeah, so with um, exercise and sleep and food and um, also I would say play, that's not really on there, but um, thinking about body and physical, it's good to have an outlet for play. We know that's healthy for us even as adults. So play can be lots of different things. It can be playing a game, you know, at a tennis court, or it can be playing a card game, or maybe it's a Sudoku puzzle that you're doing or the crossword puzzle in the newspaper, or words with friends, or whatever, but just something that gets us out of the seriousness and gets us thinking and using our minds, and a little friendly competition is helpful sometimes, too. But sleep is a really yes. good one, and I've been focusing on that a good bit, trying to get, like, I'm the kind of person, my body really wants eight hours of sleep every night, which in our world is a tall order it's tough. sometimes. It's tough. And if I get nine, it's even happier. And that's just how I'm wired, right? Not everybody's wired that way. My dad could get four or five when he was golden, um, but that's not who I am. So I've been really trying to get good sleep and I can feel it when I don't. I think we can all feel it when we don't get good rest. But I heard a really interesting quote one time, Deepak Chopra said that rest is when the body heals itself. And so I think that in this time of COVID, when we're thinking about our immune systems and our physique and how we can withstand the common cold or COVID or the flu, the flu season is just around the corner, just around. of course, um, then we want to keep ourselves strong and sleep and rest are a major way that we do that. And of course, biking is not the only form of exercise. Nope. Lots of ways to do it. I've learned to play pickleball too lately and all of this. That's been really fun. The court's opened and I learned to play and I've doing, been doing some hiking and uh, rock climbing even a little bit. Just really feeling the call of the outdoors. So um, yeah, there's a lot, but, but not everybody is able to get out or depending on age or ability or kind of where you live. Um, sometimes we have to get a little creative with floor, chair exercises, um, things like that. Well, some, most of the exercise I've been doing of late is mostly the running around and playing tag and yes. ball with my children, right, uh, right. which I get a lot of steps for that when I do that. Amen. So yeah. there's a lot of different ways to get out and be active mm -hmm. and get the sunshine on your body. Yes, um, all the vitamin D. All the vitamin D. Mm -hmm. So, yes. Right. Um, so join us again next week, and next week we'll be talking about food and the importance of food and nutrition and uh, and getting not only our basic needs met, but also helping us sort of get to some of those higher needs that uh, will need to be met as well. So join us next week for keeping your tank full.